What's good everybody? It is your boy Johnny back with a Michael Jackson video. Today I'm going to be showing you my movie collection of Michael. I have all my stuff here. It's a little short stack of stuff I have of him on DVD and Blu-ray. But before I do all that, I heard some news, I think yesterday, that um, Epic and Sony Legacy are going to be releasing something. It's nothing new, so don't get too excited. It's not any new material. I'm going to use this as a visual because I'm about to use it. This year not only marks the 10th anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, but also marks the 10th anniversary of this film. Um, this is it. That came out, I, I would say about, what, five months after he died? I remember seeing it in theaters. Anyways, so we're coming out with a big 10th anniversary box set of that. It's going to be, I'm going to read the description to you right now. It's going to contain, it's a repressing of the This Is It 4LP vinyl set on translucent blue vinyl with original jacket artwork. It's going to come with a 12 by 12 60 page hardcover coffee table color photo book containing full photos from the original CD booklet and additional previous unpublished photos from This Is This rehearsals. So it's going to be stuff that was probably included in the deluxe edition of the CD. That's what I'm predicting. Um, then it's going to have rare promotional 3D enhanced Blu-ray disc of the film, never released as a standalone version. 3D Blu-ray, and then parentheses, it has 3D Blu-ray player and TV not required for playback in 2D. Okay. Then it has each box contains each box contains one of the actual concert tickets, uh, like the holographic type thing, 3D type thing, ticket. So it's an actual ticket apparently um, for the concert of July 24th, 2009, performance of This Is It at the O2 Arena, mounted in a ticket holder, and like one of those plastic ticket holder things you see. And then. All contain a collectible limited edition numbered custom box with built-in sound responsive LED light panel on the front cover. And it's only going to be limited to a thousand. Let me see if I can show you a picture of it um, real quick. Let me do this. So that's what's going to be coming out. And I saw the price. I want to say it's like, here it is. So I want to say it's like $480. I'm not going to get it, so... Don't look for it here. And if anything, I wouldn't be surprised if it sells out soon because it's Michael Jackson. Um, on, um, it's a Michael Jackson release, but it's not new material. Which, I did a rant video on this already. I'm just going to do something real quick since it's not going to take no time. It's the 10th anniversary of Michael's death this year and they haven't released any new music. Why? I don't know. I mean, unless we're all wrong that there's unreleased stuff in the vault, but I find that highly... I find it hard to believe that there isn't any unreleased stuff in the vault. I don't know why they're being funny with that stuff. It's Michael Jackson. He's the biggest pop star that ever hit this world. The stuff would sell. Um, it's just, I don't know if there's, maybe there's a contract that's expired. I mean, who knows the reason why they have not released any new music. I thought maybe one thing could have been that documentary that came out earlier this year about called Finding Neverland with those two, two of his accusers came out with. I thought maybe they, maybe they didn't come out. I think because of that, they put they felt like they put a little damper on Michael. I don't know, but I really just wish they would come out with some new material of Michael. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. So if you're interested in that, this is it 10th anniversary box set. Check it out on the Michael Jackson shop, Michael Jackson website, and it's available for pre-order, and you can see all the details on it. But anyways, let's get started. So I'm gonna show you my movie collection of Michael Jackson. So I'm going to get started right now. Um, let me start over here first. So one of the earliest things I have that he was in is The Wiz. So I have the DVD of The Wiz, which is a pretty good movie. Uh, this is really the first and only thing he truly acted in. He did cameo appearances and other things like um, The Men in Black 2. He did a couple other little, little film parts. Oh, yeah. And I do own the VCD of Ghost. It's basically, it looks like it's in a CD case um, of the whole long form video of Ghost. But I can't find it. I have no clue where it is. So I'm not going to be able to show that. I just saw it recently. It's around here somewhere. I just can't find it. So sorry I can't show you that. It's basically a disc you can only play on your computer. Unless you have a certain region player, which I can't remember. I want to say it's one from Japan or something. 
but anyways. All right, but here's the movie, Michael Jackson, Moonwalker, that came out in 88 or 89, one of those. So, there you go. And then I have the DVD version of Dangerous, the short films that came out on VHS in the early 90s and later released on DVD. I used to have part one, but I got rid of it because I got something else in here. But this is volume two of Michael Jackson, History on Film. So, I think I kept this because it has certain performances on here. I think from uh, the VMAs. Yeah. The VMAs. So, that's why I kept this. And that's actually the first time I think I watched Michael. Yeah, the 1995 MTV Video Music Awards performance. That's really the first time I remember watching Michael and really getting into him. So, there you go. So, I have that. Um, hmm, what should I show next? You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and show these. I just showed this a second ago. This is the Steelbook version of the DVD of This Is It. I think this was only available at Best Buy. Um, when you pre-ordered it, you got the, the case itself, actually. So I never, I never went back for the DVD. I just got the case, really. And then later on, I bought the DVD and put it in here. So, so the steelbook version of this is it. Then I have the, the limited, two disc limited edition uh, Blu-ray. This one was exclusive at Best Buy because it had um, 3D, three, one of three 3D passes you can get that came with it, this release. So but here's this movie. The movie on Blu-ray of This Is It. So, there you go. Okay, we're moving pretty quick. What should I show, show next? I think I'll show this. Um, I have the Michael Jackson's Vision. This is basically... Um, this is all of Michael Jackson's videos in one place. Um, some people find it a little bit misleading because it doesn't have um, the long version of... I think Ghost... So, and a few other little things I can't remember. Best one I just remember off the top of my head. But, all in all, good little set to have. And it had an unreleased music video at the time. And it has a few videos of him with the Jacksons. And Say 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 with Paul McCartney. So, very good release. Hope Maybe one day this will see a Blu-ray release. I don't know why it hasn't yet. Kind of crazy that it hasn't yet. But, there you go. Michael Jackson Vision. Um, let's do this. Motown 25 performance. This was uh, released by Time Life. But this version from Time Life was released exclusively at Walmart. It's a three disc version of it. There's a huge, um, a bigger version of this you can get through Time Life. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it's very expensive. So I have this version. And of course it contains the first time that Michael really introduced his moonwalk to the world. When he was doing Billie Jean. Alright, this... It, this is awesome. This is uh, one of two documentaries that Spike Lee has done. Of Michael, this was on uh, to uh, commemorate Bad 25. Came out in 2012. Very good documentary. Um, I own the Off the Wall one. If you watch my CD, me showing my CD collection, it's contained in the Off the Wall version, um, the Blu-ray of that documentary. But here's the first one he did for Bad. And hopefully... Uh, Spike Lee would do other ones because I tell you what, man, he does a good job, very good job at these. I think a lot of people would agree. And since they canceled that documentary for Prince, a lot of people are hoping that uh, Spike Lee maybe will do it. But you never know. Um, there's not a rumor yet, but that would be great if he did do it. I think he'd do a great job. So bad twenty-five. All right, and this is the last DVD, and it's a bootleg concert of the Bad Tour, and it's called Michael Jackson Live in Japan. This is a bootleg that came out not too long after he died. This is very early on in the Bad Tours. This is actually in 87. So, September, September 14th in 87 in Yokohama, Japan. So, this is maybe like a week or two after the Bad Tour started. So, this is an early version of it, which is a really good concert. So, But you know what, people? That is it, short and sweet, really, of my Blu-ray... And DVD collection I have of Michael. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video of Michael. And a little bit of news I had to share with you. 
And I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'll come back around and probably do a Prince video or maybe something in between. But we will see. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time, and goodbye.